I know you're having an affair, I said, and my husband responded with a condescending look. Oh, you knew? She's incredibly cute, unlike you who is worn out and wrinkled. Everything about her is perfect. Perhaps I had shortcomings as a wife, but I had always tried my best to support and serve my husband. And yet. Gradually, my heart was filled with hatred towards him. I am Willa, and I'm 57 years old. We've been married for 32 years, and I've been a full-time homemaker all these years. My only daughter, Nayeli, got married a few years ago and now lives in the suburbs with her husband, Colt, who is the same age as her. My relationship with my husband began as an office romance. I started working as a secretary in a company after high school, and my husband was working in the sales department in the same company. He was always confident and highly regarded for his excellent sales performance. At that time, I saw him as a manly and reliable guy. When we announced our marriage, I was mobbed by female employees who looked at me with envy. Currently, my husband holds a managerial position and seems incredibly busy. After we got married, I resigned from my job and became a homemaker, and my husband expects me to take care of everything in the house, from household chores to his personal needs. He believes that household chores are a wife's duty and has a dominant attitude. I am not complaining about me doing all the housework. I consider myself fortunate to be a full-time homemaker in this day and age. But I was fed up with being asked to take care of him as if I was taking care of a big kid I don't remember giving birth to. When my husband returned home, the previously tidy room was soon a mess. It was my duty to pick up the clothes he had scattered, organize his personal items strewn on the table, and prepare everything he needed for work the next day. The bathtub and wash basin were terribly dirty after my husband used them, with shampoo and face wash splattered all over them, and the mess after he ate was left untouched. When I pointed out these issues, he shouted at me. Taking care of the house is your responsibility as a wife. Don't slack off. There was one incident when he came home drunk and made a mess, and even then, I was the one who had to clean up after him. I had mixed feelings but I convinced myself that we were able to live comfortably all thanks to him. Then one day, something extraordinary was discovered. As much as $300,000 had been withdrawn from our bank account. What's going on? I panicked and called my husband, but he didn't answer. I took a deep breath, drank some tea, and tried to calm down. Since I couldn't reach him, I had no choice but to wait for him to come home. I decided to ask him after he came home. That night, as my husband was lounging on the sofa after dinner, I confronted him. There's something I want to ask you. I began. Huh? What is it? My husband, who was fiddling with his phone, looked at me for a moment, but quickly returned his gaze and replied in a tedious manner. I found out today that money had been withdrawn from our account, $3,000. What on earth did you spend it on? As I said this, I opened the passbook and showed it to him. Uh, well, you see. My husband's face turned pale, he looked down, and fell silent. Seeing his reaction, I realized he was hiding something, so I further asked him. You spent such a huge sum of money without consulting me. It's absurd. Explain yourself properly. My husband, his gaze shifting, began to speak hesitantly. There's a guy in my team who's in a tough situation. He's a hardworking guy dealing with a complicated family situation, and he's been struggling. He's been sleeping at internet cafes because of his circumstances, so I thought, maybe I could help him. I bought him a condo. A condominium? I was so shocked that I exclaimed. While I admired my husband's concern for his subordinate, buying a condo for him seemed way beyond reasonable. My husband, who was listening to me calmly in the beginning, was getting angry at me, who unintentionally accused him in a loud voice, and he cut me off and yelled at me with a face as red as a boiled octopus in the end. Shut up. I've been too nice to you. Don't get cocky. What's wrong with me spending the money I earn as I please? 
It's your job as a housewife to manage the household finances. Don't you dare challenge me when you are just a housewife. Although I was infuriated by his words, I felt powerless against his overwhelming force and couldn't say anything. My husband gave me a disdainful look and left the living room. I felt uneasy about my husband's attitude, so I decided to hire a private investigator to look into his affair. The results were as expected, he was deep into it. His affair partner was his subordinate, and she was a young woman not much older than our daughter. The photos showed them enjoying high-end French cuisine together, entering and leaving hotels, and even entering her condo with their bodies close together. I guess the poor subordinate my husband was referring to was her. I had been devoted to my husband and supported him who was extremely busy with work for more than 30 years, and to be betrayed like this. I was about to explode with emotion, wanting to get a divorce right away, but I reminded myself that I needed to keep my cool and decided to talk to my father for the time being. My family has a history of land ownership, and my father owns multiple properties. My mother passed away when I was a student, leaving my father living alone in our family home. When I went to my family home, my father was always happy to see me and says, Willa, welcome back. Dad, I'm back. There's something I'd like to talk to you about today. I confided everything to my father about my relationship with my husband lately. He listened to my entire story without saying anything. When I finished, my father let out a sigh of disappointment. Seeing his sad expression, I regretted that I caused him worry. My father pondered something for a while, then quietly started talking. Colt's actions and behavior are hard to comprehend as a human being. It's entirely reasonable for you to consider divorce. You should make him take responsibility. However, isn't this too hasty to divorce him right away? You two vowed to spend the rest of your lives together, so it wouldn't hurt for you two to have a proper conversation and decide together. My father's words cooled my head, which had been on the verge of exploding, and I began to calm down. I thanked my father and returned home, contemplating my next steps while preparing dinner. I can't forgive his betrayal, but I was able to raise our lovely daughter and live comfortably for years thanks to him. His affair with his subordinate might be a momentary lapse in judgment. I decided to observe my husband's actions with a more open mind. That night, I stopped my husband, who was about to head to the bedroom after dinner, and proposed something. Could we go to the fireworks festival next weekend? We used to go as a family when Nayeli was younger. Huh? A fireworks festival? Sure, I guess. A fireworks festival takes place every year on the riverbank, which is about a two-hour drive from our house. In recent years, it had been cancelled due to the global pandemic, but this year, it was featured prominently in online news that it would be held again for the first time in several years. My husband seemed taken aback by my sudden invitation, but without showing any reluctance, he agreed right away. Great, it's decided, then. I'm looking forward to it. My husband was looking at me with a puzzled expression as I happily smiled, but I didn't mind and headed to the kitchen, and started to wash the dishes. Then came the day of the fireworks festival. The venue was in a remote location with few train services, so we headed there by car. I haven't gone out alone with you in years. We used to go to this fireworks festival every year when we were younger, didn't we? I said, trying to sound excited, but my husband just responded with a reluctant nod. Eventually, we entered the parking lot of the venue. The area was crowded and the security men were busy running around. While we were waiting in a line, my husband's phone